advocacy, in my opinion, advocacy is what the individuals or organizations choose to make out of it. Right. Okay. It can't be something that, you know, we are emotionally tied to at all times, mm -hmm. and that's what drives us. It, it, okay. it has to be uh, advocacy uh, placed in the right corners. There's, there's been times where I have, uh, you know, advocated on behalf of the disabled community, of course, but there needs to be more people out in the community other than me, and that's what I'm trying to do. But the first day that I became mayor, I adopted a motto for myself, and that is to make every day better than the day before. So that any time that something comes in front of me, that I can make my day better by helping someone, by advocating, then I try to do that. And right. that's what drives me, and that's why I enjoy being mayor so much, because I do get to help people, and I try to advocate as right. much as I can. But I, I'm saying that I, I am honored that you do that because you are just a, an amazing person. And, and, and I am very honored to, to know that about you. And, and you've helped so many people, Meryl, in, in our community that people don't even know about. No. So. Uh, when we talked about advocacy, you told me that you were in the process of developing a questionnaire that you were going to go door to door or person to person and distribute and ask people about pointed questions and answers to know what do they know about the disabled community. Yeah. You know. That was one of my ideas to do was to, you know, do that. And I'm, I want, I'm in the process of doing that, like you said, and I want to see what needs what needs to be um, done in our community in that regard. These advocacy groups in our community, you know, maybe there's um, further opportunity that they all need to collaborate more together to kind of move their message right. to Sacramento. Move their message to the community. I've encouraged you many times to right. come down and take the time at a city council meeting yeah. and let the city council know yeah. exactly your issues and how they might help. I've encouraged you to do the same thing with the Kern County Board of Supervisors. Yeah. These councils and boards of supervisors, they're, they're really not um, uh, really aware of all of the issues that clients with disabilities have to deal with. Right. So the best way to get them educated mm -hmm. is to appear in front of them yep. or correspond with them in writing. And, and I just don't know that there's enough advocacy work being done in that area. Right. You know, you can have committee meetings uh, and, and all around the city, but if you don't have the right people at the table, you know, right. you're not going to get the message uh, generated and right. it's not going to be taken out into the community that the way that you need to do it. Well, I have a 
a question to ask you a little different. Since you've, since you and I have created this this business relationship, have you found any more open, um, learned any more um, things from me as a as a person? I mean, as a person with a disability. Well, I think every time that we visit, mm -hmm. I learn something. And, and, I, and I learn it because I want to, you know, because I want to help you, right. you know, and, and trying to understand the issues with the disabled community. Okay. And, and you help me in that regard. And, and, and um, just in, in specific things, when we talk about uh, handicap accessibility uh, uh, curbings yes. and handicap parking needs. Mm -hmm. You know, those are things that I need to know. So when I have people that are with me that I can share, hey, listen, this is a need downtown. We need more ramps. Right. You know, then I can do that. I think when there's um, advocacy issues that you can create community awareness on that the clients need to come together and have a news event yeah. that helps illustrate this particular issue. Exactly. And it's like a political demonstration. That's what you need to do. Yeah. You need to have the advocates there. They need to be able to have uh, prepared comments. And yeah. then behind them are other clients that are holding up placards, yeah. telling the story, telling the issue. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, you never know about the media, of what type of response that you're going to receive. Right. But you have to do it. You have to make an yeah. attempt at it. Yeah. Because there are going to be some, but, you know, the squeakiest wheel gets the grease. You know, you know recently when you f and your client friends had the days of business builder education with their various businesses recently up at the East Hills Mall and how upset you were because it was poorly attended. Yeah. Well, it wasn't publicized. Right. You know, so nobody knew about it. Right. You know, I, I think that there just uh, needs to be um, more uh, effort to publicize what the needs of the disabled community are, yeah. you know, and um, how can the community further help? You had come to me to talk to me about transportation uh, issues, and since then, every time you come to see me, you talk about the transportation issues. Okay, and we appeared together at a uh, Golden Empire Transit District Board of Directors meeting so that you could take your time under public comment and share with them your concerns about transportation and how long it takes you to get from point A to point B. I think it's horrendous that recently while you were commuting in your power chair to your job, okay, you had to do, do so, and because there wasn't accessibility for you, you, you rolled in your uh, wheelchair three or four miles to get to your job and then got sighted because you weren't using the sidewalks. Right. You know, then you went to court 
And the judge threw it out because he had a sensitivity mm -hmm. to what had happened to you. Yeah. for your issue, but don't offend people by your messages, okay? You want to engage them, okay? You don't want to offend them. Yes, your issue is important to you, okay? But many times your audience doesn't understand. Right. So to right. treat them like they should understand when they don't, right. you're... you're, you're you, you're just not doing yourself a favor, but you, 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 you lead with an advocacy position, but do not point fingers first. Right. You know, and and one of the things that that I've always found uh, very beneficial is giving people recognition and then leading into the message. You know, thank you for giving me your time today. You know, and, and I know it's valuable. But I'm here today because I have a passion of why I'm advocating in front of you today. I want to help people with disabilities, be able to go to church every Sunday with reliable right. transportation. And you can help me by educating and, and informing the uh, Golden Empire Transit District that we need more buses on Sunday. Yeah. So more of us can go to church, mm -hmm. you know. So th there's just a way of doing it, and and you know, um, activists, you know, activists like to uh, point fingers a lot first and ask questions later. I mean, I don't think that's appropriate. Mm -hmm. I, and that's bec because I respect you so much, Mary Hall, for what you do for the disabled community here in Bakersfield. I want to be as more and as much active as possible as an advocate. And I'm want to help people and, and I appreciate you as a representative of our community as the mayor but as my fr friend also uh, I, I really um, am honored to have you on my side and others with disabilities because a lot of the changes in our community is because of you and others like you.